Hey everybody, welcome to PBM's Video Entertainment and welcome back to another episode of Thomas and Friends Import Reviews. And right now we're going to take a break from the complete season DVDs. We're going to jump into some episodic Thomas and Friends homing releases. So, we're going to be taking a look at the very best of Thomas, or the very best of Thomas, if people want to say that instead of saying the whole mouthful, the very best of Thomas and Friends. Well, as long as they uh, don't get confused with Best of Thomas from the United States or The Best of Thomas from the United Kingdom or Best of Thomas from Japan and stuff like that. But anyways, <laughs> let's jump into the history of The Very Best of Thomas and Friends. So The Very Best of Thomas and Friends was originally released on VHS back in March 4th of 2002 in the United Kingdom in Ireland by VCI and Ghislaine Entertainment. Now, as for the DVD copy, it was finally released on August 18th of 2003 by BCI and Hit Entertainment. Now, it kind of doesn't make any sense to me why they can't just release both the VHS and DVD copy on March 4th of 2002. But it is what it is. And the very best of Thomas and Friends was re-released on DVD by 2 Entertain. And I'm not sure what year this was re-released. Probably either 2007. If not, then it might be 2008. One of those, two. And the very best of Thomas and Friends can be found in the double feature pack with the Fogman and other stories. Now, as for the Australian copy of the very best of Thomas and Friends, it was finally released for both VHS and DVD on June 10th of 2004 by ABC Video, not to be confused with the American ABC channel. And then in 2005, The Very Best of Thomas and Friends was re-released on DVD once again by ABC Video. And The Very Best of Thomas and Friends can be found in the 60 Years DVD box set. And it can also be found in the Essential Collection 5 DVD box set. And now we got the history out of the way, let's jump into my copy of The Very Best of Thomas and Friends. Alright, so we will now jump into my copy of The Very Best of Thomas and Friends. So... I got this off Amazon from the seller uh, World of Books USA, pretty great seller. This one was supposed to arrive on the 23rd, but uh, it was it was a few days late, so I don't know what the problem was, either like it was a little close around, a little too close to Christmas, or not sure what the deal is, but as long as it's here now, it's alright. So, it's the original 2003 BCI and HIT copy. <clears throat> so on the top, we got the very best of Thomas and Friends title up top. From the first five television series, and there's Thomas and Workman. Yeah, this is a scene from Thomas Percy and Dragon. You can see Thomas all surprised. I really like the, uh, the front poster. It looks pretty nice. Rated U in the United Kingdom. And then there's Toby, this is a scene from Toby and the Flood. And there's Thomas, scene from Trust Thomas, and then a scene from James and Trouble with Trees. And we got James, and there's Percy, this is a scene from Duck Takes Charge. We have the DVD video logo, and 16 favorite episodes of the famous tank engine Thomas. Well, not all the episodes on this release are about Thomas, some of them are about James, Diesel, and some other engines. This is why it's called the very best of Thomas and Friends. <clears throat> Excuse me. Spine, DV logo, and then we have our kick profile of Thomas. Scrolling down here. Old style hit entertainment logo. The UK rating. BCI. And blurb, if you want to pause and read that, you can. Sorry, the little uh, sudden light. And this part right here, like, they screwed up. Like, Peter and Sam, like, they're not separate names. Like, there's no, I mean, of course, there's an engine name, Sam, in Thomas and Friends, but he's not on this release. It's supposed to be, his, it's supposed to be Peter Sam. Like, his full name is Peter Sam. Like, the number four narrow gauge green engine on the scar logo, really. So, they screwed that up. There's not supposed to be a comma right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, there's the snapshot from Trust Thomas, then scene from Double Teething Troubles, scene from Rock and Roll, and scene from Better View for Gordon. There's your episode list right here. 
And then our narrators are Ringo Starr and Michael Angelus. Uh, cover information, universal suitable for all. And just a heads up, it is region two. And one thing I gotta say, if you get the Australian 2005 re-release, like if you see this, like if you just see these episodes, you're probably thinking, did they just get rid of the other episodes? Well, no, they haven't. Like, they just, on that 2005 Australian DVD re-release, like, there wasn't any room to put these episodes. So, uh, so really, it, it doesn't really matter which, uh, copy you get of Very Best Thomas. You're still gonna get the same, you're still gonna get the same content as the other, as the other belief releases. Anyways, here's the disc. Squish a version of the poster art. Well, of this part, of course. And inside, we get a little sheet. Or episode list sheet. This this side has the same exact front poster art. And the back. The episode's a list. Like I said, there are 16 episodes on this release. And, yeah, I got this off Amazon. This is in a pretty good condition. And it cost me five to six bucks, which is a really, really great deal I got. So, pretty worth it. Anyways, let's jump into the menu tour for the very best of Thomas and Friends. All right, so we have now jumped into the menu tour for the very best of Thomas and Friends. We can see Thomas, Annie, and Cloudbell chop them by. So we have playoff stories, episodes, and subtitles. Let's go to episode selection like we always do and there's thomas the tank engine once again so our story stops are thomas and gordon james and the coaches cranky bugs rusty and the boulder dirty work paint pots and queens buzz buzz thomas and the special letter tom i'm sorry excuse me <laughs> thomas percy and the dragon trust thomas Thomas Comes to Breakfast, No Joke for James, Pop Goes to Diesel, Ghost Train, Percy Runs Away, and Gallant Old Engine. Back to the main menu. And subtitles. Subtitles off, subtitles on. And unfortunately, there's no bonus features whatsoever. So, bummer. Anyways, now let's jump into my review and thoughts on the very best of Thomas and Friends. So overall, do I recommend the very best of Thomas and Friends? Well, I have seen Lego Lover 117 review this and Thomas Fan 261 review this, and they both recommend this release. But yes, I know. Y'all want to know if I recommend this release or not. Do I recommend it? The answer to that is absolutely, of course. Like, this is definitely one of the greatest Thomas UK releases of of all time like <laughs> this is a great way to uh if you want to binge watch thomas classic episodes like this one's for you like if you are a huge fan of if you're a huge fan of thomas and friends and you prefer seasons one through five then this one's for you that is if you prefer ringo star michelangelo's narration but if you prefer george carl and alec baldwin then if you prefer like George Carlin and Alec Baldwin and not Ringo and Michelangelo's narration for seasons one through five, then I guess this one's not for you. But I will say, like, it feels like I, I think I agree with, I honestly want to agree with uh, Thomas Fan 261. I think every Thomas fan should own the very best of Thomas and Friends. And fun fact, the episodes, they were actually chosen by, by Thomas fans back in 2002. Like, we got, like, the fans, like, they picked out really great episodes, like Thomas and Gordon, Gallant Old Engine, Dirty Work, Rusty and the Boulder, Buzz Buzz, etc. Like, like, the fans, they, they really did a good job picking out the episodes. And unfortunately, we did not get any bonus features, but who cares? So... So yeah, overall, I think you rec I think I rec I think I recommend picking up the very best of Thomas and Friends. 
I think you could still find it on Amazon or Amazon UK or eBay or eBay UK or or some UK online retailer or something like that. One thing I want to say is that this release does have 16 episodes. Like, imagine if they did 20 instead of 16. Like, I mean, this release is awesome no matter what. But uh, if they wanted to do 20, I want them to keep the episodes on this release that the, that the fans picked out in 2002. Then, uh, or I'm not sure when they did the, uh, the whole episode pick choosing and stuff like that late 2001 or early 2002 um i would want them to add more episodes like four more episodes basically then they have 20 like add special funnel uh snow james and the express and uh basically another season four episode like uh, rock and roll or or whichever season four episode or i mean there's only like two uh basically two season five thomas episodes on this apparently so so yeah that was kind of i mean well it was picked by the fans so so it's that's what the fans wanted to pick so so be it but and another thing I want to say, Ringo Starr and Michelangelo, like, they're pretty great narrators, and especially with Ringo Starr, my favorite British narrator. And I'm not a fan of Michelangelo's season three narration, but I especially love hearing the help save me at the, at the end scene where Percy gets frightened by the Chinese dragon when he was at Ellsbridge Station at the ending scene, stuff like that. Yeah. And now... Do I prefer George Carlin's narration? Yes. And when it comes to season five, do I prefer Alec Baldwin's narration? Yes. Now, there's nothing wrong with Michelangelo's. Michelangelo's is still a pretty great narrator, of course. I enjoy his, his narration, even if some episodes of season three's narration of Michelangelo's can be a little bit off in my, can be a little bit off in my, in my opinion, at least. I mean, I, I live in the United States, so I grew up with George Carlin, Alec Baldwin, and of course, Ringo Starr, Michael Brandon, and yeah, all that. And of course, Ringo Starr, like I said, is my favorite, is my favorite British narrator of all time. So, overall, I recommend you pick up the very best of Thomas and Friends. This is this will be great for any Thomas and Friends homie to collector. But this is region two. So if you really want to get this, then you're gonna to have to get a region free disc player or a region two DVD player or whatever disc DVD player that that can play region two. Yeah. So So overall, the very best of Thomas and Friends is a must have to your Thomas and Friends homie to collection. So that's going to do it for me, everybody. See you all next time. Bye.